There's nothing like having professional sounding audio in your streams or in your YouTube content or anything you create through OBS. So I want to show you some plugins to get into OBS so that way you can take your audio quality from sounding like this. Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry if my audio quality ain't up to par. I will be getting a new microphone or I will be getting some things figured out so it sounds better for you guys to sounding like this. Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for coming in. Hit that subscribe, make them comments go bloom down below. Or hey guys, welcome to my stream. Let's get it, let's play this game. Hit that subscribe button guys, follow me, give me those biddies and let's have some fun. Well guys, stick around. I'm gonna take you into this journey to get your audio to sound more professional. So let's go ahead and dive on in guys. So the first thing we'll want to do is of course download OBS. I'm sure you guys already have that downloaded, installed, or you wouldn't be watching this video if you wasn't using OBS already. But what you'll need to do is go to any of your favorite browsers, go ahead and open that. And we'll just search up TDR. TDR plugins, TDR plugins. And this is what I use. I find these to be actually some of the best free VST plugins that you can find because OBS uses VST2 plugins. That's what it recognizes. But if you go to TDR plugins over here, scroll on down to the audio plugins. Tokyo Dawn Labs is the ones who create this. And no, this is not a sponsored video. This is just plugins that I absolutely love. And it gives me great quality sound but you'll want to go ahead and download the TDR uh, Molotok. It is a compressor plugin. There's a free version right here. The TDR Nova, which is a equalizer. You want to go ahead and download that right here. And the TDR VOS Slick EQ, go ahead and download that here. Three plugins, that's all you need to get your audio quality to sound you know anyway once you download of course they'll go into your download folder on your PC make this quick and easy guys I don't want to make this any more complicating than you might think it is because it's not the first thing you will want to do if you don't already have it under your file folder is you'll want to go into this PC, the C drive, go into program files and create a folder that says VST plugins, capital V, capital S, capital T plugins. You'll also want to go into program files x86 and do the same thing. Capital V, capital S, capital T plugins. You can also, there might be one already created called Steinberg because that is also a VST plugin folder. Sometimes that's automatically created, but if you have just VST plugins folder, it will work perfectly. Once you download those plugins that I showed you just a minute ago, go ahead and open up program files open up VST plugins hold shift click the file folder again to get you another box go to your downloads right here you'll see that I've downloaded TDR matlock it'll come up with the AAX VST2 and VST3 you only need to worry about VST2. There's a Win32. So if you're on 32-bit windows or 64-bit windows, you're going to have to decide which one you're going to use. And if you don't know what version of Windows you're on, you can go to the search bar and just type My PC.
hit enter right in this box here it'll say system type and then it'll say 64-bit operating system or 32-bit but make sure you grab the one you need you'll just simply drag and drop you'll hit ok on that as an administrator to copy that into that folder and that's done do that with all of your plugins let's go ahead and bring OBS up over here and once you have OBS open you'll simply go into your microphone settings right click on it and go to filters you can see I already have them on here you'll hit the plus button you'll go down here to VST2 plugins click on that VST2 plugin let's name this uh, something I already don't have we'll just go with EQ all right then once you have EQ up here you'll simply click the drop down box um, and we'll go with a slick EQ open plugin interface boom there it is and right in here you can start doing your adjustments with cutting out lows I actually use the slick EQ to do my additive EQ I use the Nova to do my cuts and that's something I'll show you really quick as well but that's how you get the plugins into OBS pretty straightforward pretty simple if you have any questions or if you can't figure it out leave me a comment down below and I will help you one-on-one -on -one get it sorted out for you let's go ahead and go back into the filters I also run a noise gate a noise gate actually cuts off the microphone when you're not speaking so you don't have any noise coming into the mic let's go ahead and remove these plugins or at least the noise gate and I'll show you the difference you might be able to hear some of the fan noise some of the surrounding noise just just basic white noise and then with it on it goes quiet until you start speaking but you got to be very careful with the close threshold and the open threshold I run my negative 65 negative 50 attack time at 25 milliseconds release time at 50 and hold time at zero my TDR Nova this is where I'm doing my cuts there's frequencies right here that sound absolutely horrible if I raise that up you guys can tell the major it just yeah it's not a good sound you want in your streams or in your content so you know I do my cuts accordingly you guys make the decision same with this this frequency has a boxiness that I don't like so you know I take and I cut that a little bit this frequency it's real boomy sounding I didn't like that too much boomy sound in my voice so I cut it back about 3 dBs and then I have a slight roll off going here because you don't want any low end rumble compressor this is one you have to really be careful with on a compressor um, the more attack that you have the more it compresses your vocals and the more it's just sounds squashed you don't want a squashed sounding vocal because I could take it from my negative 28 setting all the way down and you can tell that my volume went down it sounds squashed it sounds like it's just bleh, bleh. you know you want your natural dynamics to still come through the mic but at the same time still grab what's going over that threshold and pulling them down I'll leave mine at negative 28 that's something you'll play around with you know my attack I have it pretty fast because since I'm speaking I want it to grab anything that comes through at a loud you know when it's a loud jump jump through there and grab it pull it down release I keep it pretty slow so that way it can hold it for a minute before it goes back out and you always want to do a makeup gain because if you're hitting a negative six to negative five decibels of your loud peaks pulling down 
you want to bring that back up so that way you're setting level when when whenever you're talking at a normal normal speaking level and i always keep my ratio at three to one my additive eq i use is the slick and you know I, earlier i took out some of those 200 i think it was around 200 uh the the frequency 200 megahertz i took that down a little bit you know the one fifth 1.5 k wherever that was setting dropped it down the same i brought up a little bit of lows here in the 120 hertz and i gave myself a shelf at six six k hertz so you know a little boost in my lows let me get closer here a little boost in my lows then it goes across the spectrum at 6k once it hits 6k i boost it up to give me a little bit of sheen a little bit of brightness in my voice i also run a reverb so if i'm singing if i'm doing my karaoke on my stream i have this nice music sounding reverb and it is a towel reverb tal reverb 4. and you can use any vst plugin you want as long as it's a vst2 just google vs free vst2 plugins you can get reverbs you can get delays you can get voice modulators you can get pitch shifters have fun with it be creative guys because you know have fun with it be creative give your community on your stream something f you know to have fun with give them some good audio so they're not moving on to somebody else without you know with better audio or you know i, I say stick to this thanks for coming into the video and watching it i hope it helped out i hope that you can get your audio sounding better if it's not up to par for what you want it's simple easy to get these uh, vst2 plugins into obs you know learning them getting them adjusted accordingly to how you want them but if y'all could do me a favor like this video hit subscribe and click that notification bell that'll help out the channel and it's free and you know catch me on twitch i stream on twitch every day you can catch me there um yeah have fun happy streaming guys y'all the best